So I never got to cover this. The barbershop support units that you can purchase with barber points got an EZA recently. All you have to do is use them in battle on any stage and complete the stage 15 times. So I was just link leveling with them. And then eventually I got the ECA medals in order to get into level 140 in SA15. Now, of course, with an EZA, they've gotten some upgraded stats and skills. So we're going to go through the first guy here, which is Tech Krillin, throughout the whole entire week. We'll go through each single one of them because some of them have their little minor differences. And of course, they don't link all well together. So I can't really put them in one team and do uh, one video like I did with the Metal Coolers. So hopefully you forgive me with that. And that way I can have a daily content for you guys every single day. So let's go through these stats here. Krillin has the best defense stat out of all of them, which is 9,858, 13,000 attack, and 14,000 HP. They, they, all of them have decent stats, I'm not going to lie. The one thing I don't like is that they ended up being 90% leaders. They definitely should have hit the 120 because it's not really worth it because you can still run Super Strike EZAs and they provide 77% for their typing, which is still pretty decent. It's not too much of a difference. So I wish that they did, you know, enter the boundary of the 120 or the 100%. And for their super attack mechanic, all of them raise defense for one turn and supreme damage to the enemy. Now, I did say they were different, but they're quite similar with how they get their attack and defense. So they get 120% attack and defense when performing a super attack. So that instantly gives them a second or third slot. As a support unit, that's completely fine. Um, then they get attack and defense plus 30% when three or more key spheres are obtained. And then 50% extra when five or more key spheres are obtained. So that stacks up, I believe. So getting that extra 80%, making a 200% attack and defense. Then they're, of course, still a support for their typing with two key and 30%. It is guaranteed now, which is awesome. Now, if you get three or more of the same colored orbs, I believe, of the typing of the unit, you get an extra 10% attack and defense as the support. Uh, just from the rough translations that I got on screen. Now, the only thing that's different with this Krillin compared to the others is that he recovers HP by 10% at the end of the turn, which is quite nice, honestly. 10% might not sound a lot, but if you have a 600,000 HP team, that's 60,000 HP back, which is awesome. Uh, keep all the uh, link set and everything like that. I would recommend everybody putting max additional now. I haven't been able to change it yet, but that's what I recommend, of course, at Dodge as well. I'm super curious to see how much attack and defense he has on a free-to-play team. So we run him under 150% Earthlings leader, as well as Bond of Friendship leader for 170%. He does not have a 200% leader as of yet. So let's jump into the Cell Doken event. I actually have not completed this yet. Of course, he's in the third slot, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, because we can get the linking partner. His best linking partner is the Vegeta and Krillin because uh, they have different names and it's still technically a Krillin card. So you'll get most of the link sets that you are looking for. Uh, let's see. Is there a way to avoid supers? No. But actually, Pan is not under the Earthlings leader, so she's actually not going to do anything, which is awesome. And I think uh, there's only one AGL phase, which is the very end. Krillin is going to do some decent damage here. Yep. We're just going to probably kill this first. It's the first of a dark event. Luckily, there's not much to look around with this Krillin. He doesn't like build or anything like that. He just gets a certain amount of attack and defense. We'll just see what his peak is. Don't think we have much time to see anything else other than that. Let's float out the Ella. This is... The fact that this is so perfect is crazy to me. That we have like a full physical rotation on the int fight. As long as there's no additionals, I don't think Krillin can solo. Luckily, the Roshis do not share different names, so they don't link up perfectly or at all. Krillin flat boost still does a lot. All right, cool. We get to see the first attack. Type disadvantage. Uh, can we... No. Okay, I'm going to get the five orbs. This will get him the 80%. Um, he is supported as well. I think Tekka's support is actually on as well, which is good. So by grabbing these fives, he should get a nice big boost. At 100,000 defense, he's going to raise his defense and then get 120% attack and defense. Uh, I don't know which calculation goes first, but that should be over 
300,000 defense on like the perfect linking partner. As you can see, like six links activated. I think most of it is attack anyway. Oh, this one's a 15% attack and defense, which is kind of insane. Um, and of course, this is not link level 10. So this is actually going to go further. And this is not on a, um, you know, double 170%. So actually pretty good, this Krillin. The problem is we don't really run mono teams. 3.3 is actually decent attack stat for a support unit as well. I actually don't mind this Krillin. I think his passive skill is decent. Uh, it just sucks that they all have to rely on those five orbs gathered. Because sometimes you can't get that five orbs. I did bring it, um, an item changing or an orb changing item just in case if it doesn't work out. But that can be definitely a big issue. Uh, this should keep the five. Yes. Now we'll have a 40% support, which is going to be even crazier and no type disadvantage. This would be, he'd be nice on a, like a bond of friendship team because I know there's a lot of tech units in bond of friendship if you um, care to run this guy. For example, the bird Goku, Pan's in there. Uh, you also have, <laughs> it really matters, tech god Ku to support. So I guess Krillin's not going to be too bad. The problem is he probably won't link as well on that team because he really needs to link up with a uh, Krillin. Essentially, he has very Krillin-esque links, like high compatibility. Solar support can be probably activate experience fire. Isn't Zero School? He's got some things, but yeah. It makes a big difference activating all of them. Because these attacks that also raises up quite tremendously. So here on a 40%, uh, yeah, you should be getting easily over 300k, I think. Because it doubles on pretty much doubles and a little bit more on his passive and then the raised defense is actually 30 percent very nice very nice and imagine you got that double super he'd hit easily 400,000. so i give krillin a tick i still you know have my skepticisms how i would run him though on a free-to-play box because as you guys know it's not really tech heavy i definitely will use him in ultimate clash even though he's only still a 90 percent leader I think it's still very valuable and the 10% heal back might be very clutch. We should be able to get one more turn with the... Oh, actually, I've never done this Dogen event, so I actually don't even know what's happening. <laughs> Let's go like this. You know what? We'll just Ghost Usher here. And then we'll use the Takayaki Balls next turn. I think that would be cool. That's if this... Cell doesn't die from this 1.2 million attack stat super. And if Pan doesn't additional or anything like that. Okay, she only did an additional normal. I'm going to take that. I think Tekka shouldn't kill. He's got the same att amount of attack stat. Lower defense, that's that's handy. 20% support. Let's use a Yucky Ball. Let's nuke with him. Why not? Why not? Um... Frigga, if we're going to do it, we're going to go all the way. But we'll get 14 orbs with him. That's a lot of attacks, that extra. <laughs> but I thought I might as well do it for the last super. 6.4 million attacks, that. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So there is the Krillin. This is the first one that I'm showcasing. Uh, as we go through each and single one of them, I'll compare each one. And then at the very end, the last one I will compare. I'll also put them in the tier list eventually and then do a tier list video and explaining further about my thoughts and maybe give extra um, inputs because I'll have actually more time to use them. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Regardless, if you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. I'm trying to hit that 100,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. If we do, something cool will happen. So make sure you subscribe. Till the next one, stay healthy, stay safe, stay busy. Peace out.